Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I'm continuing my Halloween series with a scary cute bundle from Stampin' Up! And we're going to make this little box um, using the dies that are in this set. So if I can get that off, I'll show you. See how we've got little Snickers inside. I have two other um, projects featuring the scary cute over on my uh, blog. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back and visit. There's a free PDF with all the measurements and two other projects. Okay, let's make our boxes first. All right, you're gonna need two pieces of basic gray cardstock that measure four and three fourths by five and a half. The first one we're gonna score at one and a half on all four sides. Now, the next one is gonna be exactly the same, except we're gonna use what I call a shim. It's a stack of about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight post-it notes. And I'm gonna put it right here. This is gonna make our box um, that goes on top just a tiny bit bigger. Now, we're gonna do the same thing, one and a half, but we're gonna turn it each time. And this little post-it stack is adding just a little bit, maybe like a 16th of an inch, um, to our box. Okay, now let's start with the bottom one first. We're gonna punch or we're gonna burnish all of those lines. And then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna go cut off the corners from score line to score line. Now on the shorter ends, I want you to snip those score lines like that. All right, now grab your Tombow and we're gonna put some glue on the outside of all four of those triangles. And you're gonna fold those in and fold up the ends. And then I like to take some clothes pins and hold it closed. That's gonna give it some time for that glue to really set. All right, now for our bottom, or actually the top, that was the bottom. This is the one that's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna take a circle punch and I'm gonna add some finger notches down here on the bottom, maybe a little bit bigger. This is a one inch circle punch. You can use any side. This is going to help you pull your um, box top off your box bottom. All right, now again, burnish, burnish, burnish. Then cut off the corners. It's exactly the same as the other piece. We've just punched some holes in it. Okay, now Snip those lines. Like that. All right, again, we're gonna put glue on the outside of our triangles. And we're gonna fold in these, getting my fingers right in the glue and pressing up in. Grab some clothes pens to hold those closed. Like that. Okay, so now we've got our box top and bottom. We're gonna move those out of the way. I'm gonna bring over some grid paper and we're gonna make the cute little um, scene on the outside. Cut out two of these labels. This is from the Scary Silhouettes dies. Two of these labels from basic gray. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this texture stamp right here from Ocean Front. And I'm only gonna decorate the front of the box. Um, you can do both sides if you want. Stamp off and then stamp. Stamp off and then stamp. It's gonna give you kind of a lighter look to this little kind of spooky kind of cloud. And I'm gonna do some around the bottom. Just remember to stamp off each time like that. Now I'm gonna take the bats and I'm not gonna stamp off this time. I'm gonna stamp them in full strength. Okay. 
Now, we also have a one inch, if I can pick it up, Daffodil Delight circle. And I'm gonna take some ink and my blending brush, and I'm just gonna add some color to it. This is gonna be our moon, just kind of to one side like that. All right, now we're gonna also cut out our um, haunted house out of basic black. And then I've got another piece of basic black that I'm gonna take some washi, glitter washi tape, and I'm gonna put a couple of rows of washi tape on here. And we're gonna use this to cut out our bat. We're only gonna cut out one bat for this project. All right, and then I've got one more stamping thing to do. I've got... All right, now I cut my uh, rectangle out before I did my stamping. So I'm gonna practice with my stamp here. Let's see if it stamps straight. Yep, looks like it stamps straight. So I'm gonna stamp this on the left side of my basic white stitched rectangle. Okay, now let's bring over our cut and emboss machine and we'll cut those things out. All right, scary silhouette die goes on this one. The bat goes on our washi tape. Okay, so here is our haunted house. And then here is our bat. All right, now I didn't wanna leave the haunted house just kind of boring and plain like that. So I cut out some strips of, this is um, a Crush Curry Pattern DSP. It's from the T uh, Boutique uh, DSP. And if you cut your strips skinny enough, they will fit like that. So I'm gonna take some liquid glue. You can also just use Daffodil Delight cardstock. And I'm just gonna Put the glue like that. And then I'm gonna take this and we're gonna set it right down on that strip like that. Okay, and we'll cut this one off. And then, let's see, I may need to add a little more glue right here. And then we'll lay this one right there. So now it looks like we've got some glowing lights if I don't pull it off, some glowing lights behind our windows. All right, I think we're ready to put it all together. Now let's bring over our box, our boxes, okay? And we're gonna put our candy in. We've got our Snickers, we'll put those right in there. And then we're gonna slide our box right on top like that okay see how those finger holes will help you slide it off and then i'm going to start on the back side and i'm going to put adhesive all over that and this box i designed to just fit right in between those little corners okay so you can slide it around and get it exactly right and then we're gonna do the same thing up here on the top. The glue allows you to kind of slide it around and get it right in the right place. Okay, like that. And then we've got our stitched rectangle. We'll put that here across like this. All right, now we're gonna take our haunted house, put a dimensional right there. And dimensional right there for our moon. And then we'll get, let's put on our ribbon first because we're gonna have to use some liquid glue for that bat and I don't want him to come off when I'm tying my ribbon. He's gonna to need to sit and dry for a while. All right, black and white gingham ribbon, my very favorite ribbon. And once one thing you can do um, when you're gluing on that front and the back 
is give it some time to dry, which I did not do, and then set maybe one of your clear blocks right on top like that to give it some time to kind of, you know, adhere flat. All right, a little bat on our moon. Okay, glue, come on out. There we go. And we're done. This is a really fun box. Now, I actually have a class to go PDF in my PDF store that has two other boxes that use this shape designed completely differently. Actually, it may be three. Uh, make sure I'll, I'll link it on um, today's Facebook Friday post. Um, so when you click the link here on YouTube, it'll go back over there. There are three scary cute projects in that post and then an additional PDF available in my PDF store. All right, you guys, happy Halloween. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.